The objectives of the study were twofold. You had primary and secondary objectives. The uh, primary objective of the study was to compare blue light uh, flexible cystoscopy to white light flexible cystoscopy. And the secondary objectives uh, were, were really to determine the detection rate of CIS with uh, blue light flexible cystoscopy, as well as to look at safety of repetitive use of uh, blue light. And the secondary objective is really uh, born out of the uh, original post-marketing agreement with the FDA. The uh, primary uh, endpoint, which was a comparison of uh, blue light flexible cystoscopy to white light, uh, it, we determined that about 20% uh, or so uh, more cases were, uh, more uh, tumors were detected uh, with blue light flexible cystoscopy compared to white light uh, flexible cystoscopy. And in terms of uh, secondary objectives, uh, the safety of uh, repetitive installation uh, was also uh, confirmed, and the CIS detection rate uh, was about 34%. About 34% of CIS tumors were only detected uh, with uh, blue light cystoscopy in the arm. In terms of overall safety, the um, side effect rate was about 3% or so and comparable to what had been seen previously and even in, uh, in this study with the uh, uh, in-OR uh, rigid cystoscopy based uh, blue light cystoscopy. I think these data are going to have a significant impact on clinical practice in the United States, uh, particularly in terms of the office. Well, this will allow us to bring blue light into the clinic and thereby potentially avoid having to take some patients to the operating room just to have a negative evaluation. That would uh, reduce costs tremendously for the system, uh, increase patient convenience, uh, and I think you'll see a fair amount of rapid adoption uh, of this technique.